Good morning, everyone. This video is for the students of class 7th subject English. Lesson number 1 The Tiny Teacher Book An Alien Hand, and this is my lecture number 2. In this video, we shall cover the following points Introduction of the chapter, Summary of the chapter. And homework solution of lecture number one of lesson one, the tiny teacher, in which we shall discuss word meanings and question answers. Now, let's start with the introduction of the chapter, the tiny teacher. The tiny teacher itself depicts the dedication of the smallest creature towards their duties assigned them to perform in a very sincere way. Being the hard-working and intelligent creature, they perform their duties in the form of cleaners, nurses, workers, soldiers, and trainers. They live in an anthill having hundreds of little rooms and passage for all ants. The queen ant only lays eggs after its wedding flight with a drone. Drone is a male ant. Through the life cycle, egg grub to cocoon to ant, a perfect ant appears. They learn their duties from old ants and get ready to survive in the world of work like cleaners, nurses, workers, soldiers and trainers. They also allow other creatures to live in their ant hill to get pleasant smell, sweet juice and playthings. People should learn many qualities like hard work, sense of duty, discipline, and loyalty towards their country from this wisest creature. Now, let's have a look on the summary of the chapter, The Tiny Teacher, which talks about so many facts related to ants and so many things which we can learn from them. So, the summary is, the ant being a smallest insect is an intelligent and hardworking creature. As it is the commonest insect, we know a number of facts about it. An ant has feelers which is also called antennae. It uses them to talk and greet other ants while moving up or down the wall. The black or red ones are the commonest among them. They live in their comfortable homes, generally called nests or anthills, just below the surface of the soil. Each anthill has hundreds of little rooms and passages. So, the houses of ants are known as anthills, which have hundreds of little rooms. The queen ant lays eggs in some of these rooms. As I told you that ants live in ant hills which have hundreds of rooms. So in some of these rooms, the queen ant lays eggs. Other rooms are nurseries, stores, reserved quarters and separate barracks. Ants of each category carry their duty sincerely without disturbing the other. And this is the reason why the ant enjoys a peaceful life. The queen ant is the mother of entire population of the country. Its lifespan is about 15 years after wedding flight with a male ant or we can say drone. On a hot summer day, it comes back to earth without wings to lay eggs. In a few days, grubs means the little ones of ants come out of the eggs. Soldier ants guard them while worker ants feed them and help them in growing up. After two or three weeks, grubs become cocoons which then break and perfect ants appear. New ants are taught and trained by old ants. After a few weeks training, the small ants become ready to work. An anthill is also the home of other creatures like beetles, lesser breads of ants, and green fly. The ants give them shelter because they get sweet juices and pleasant smell from them. 
So why do ants allow other creatures to live in their ant hills? Because they get sweet juices and pleasant smell from them. The green fly is the ant's cow. The ants give training to them to give honeydew with a touch of their antennae. So as we human beings milk cows, in the same way the ants milk green fly to give them honeydew. That is why it is said the green fly is the ants cow. So man can learn hard work, sense of duty and discipline, cleanliness, care for young ones from ants. So this was your lesson number one, the tiny teacher. Now your homework is you have to learn lesson number one, the tiny teacher. Now we shall discuss the homework solution of our lecture number one of lesson one, the tiny teacher in which we shall discuss our word meanings and question answers. Now open your fair notebooks and your books. If you do not have your books with you, then it's okay. Open your notebooks and make format and draw margin. Write down lesson number one, the tiny teacher and write down the heading word meaning. So the first word is ant hills. Its meaning is nets of ants. I repeat the first word is ant hills. Its meaning is nests of ants. The second word is grub. Its meaning is baby ant. I repeat, the second word is grub, its meaning is baby ant. The third word is tiny, its meaning is small. Tiny, small. The fourth word is barracks, its meaning is houses of soldiers. Barracks, houses of soldiers. Fifth word is reserved, its meaning is secured. Fifth word is reserved, its meaning is secured. Sixth word is drawn, its meaning is a male ant. I repeat, the sixth word is drawn, its meaning is a male ant. Now on page number three, under the heading comprehension check, there are three questions. Among these three questions, first two questions are supposed to be done in your books itself. If you have your books, then you can do them in your books itself. Otherwise, do them in your rough notebook. So the first question is, the story of an ant's life sounds almost untrue. The italicized phrase means, first, highly exaggerated, second, too remarkable to be true, and third, not based on facts. So the answer is, second one, too remarkable to be true. If you have your books, then mark it in your book on second. If you do not have your books, then write them in your rough notebook. Now, second question. This question is also supposed to be done in your books if you have them. Otherwise, do them in your rough notebook. So, the second question is, complete the following sentences. An ant is the smallest dash. The answer is, an ant is the smallest, the commonest, and the wisest insect. Second, we know a number of facts about an ant's life because, the answer is, we know a number of facts about an ant's life because people have kept ants as pets and have watched their daily behavior closely. I repeat, we know a number of facts about an ant's life because people have kept ants as pets and have watched their daily behavior closely. Now the third question given on the same page is supposed to be done in your fair notebook. So write down question number one in your notebook. In what ways is an ant's life peaceful? In what ways is an ant's life peaceful? The answer is, there is a proper distribution of jobs in the ant's community. No ant interfere in the job of other ant. So, an ant's life is peaceful. I repeat the answer. There is a proper distribution of jobs in the ant's community. No ant interfere in the job of other ant. So, an ant's life is peaceful. Now, on page number 5, 
there is a comprehension check write down the first question of it in your notebook how long does it take for a grub to become a complete ant i repeat how long does it take for a grub to become a complete ant the answer is it takes 5 or 6 weeks for a grub to become a complete ant i repeat it takes 5 or 6 weeks for a grub to become a complete ant now the second question is why do the worker ants carry the grubs about why do the worker ants carry the grubs about the answer is the worker ants carry them about daily for airing exercise and sunshine i repeat the answer the worker ants carry them about daily for airing exercise and sunshine the third question is what jobs are new ants trained for what jobs are new ants trained for the answer is the new ants are trained for the job of workers soldiers builders cleaners etc the new ants are trained for the job of workers soldiers builders cleaners etc now the fourth question is name some other creatures that live in ant hills name some other creatures that live in ant hills the answer is some other creatures that live in ant hills are beetles lizard brains of ants and the green fly now the fifth question is mention three things we can learn from the tiny teacher means ants give reasons for choosing these items answer the first thing is we can learn team work from ants as they do their work by sharing i repeat the first point we can learn team work from ants as they do their work by sharing the second thing that we can learn is we can learn hard work from ants as they spend their most of time in doing their respective jobs without hesitation i repeat the second thing that we can learn is we can learn hard work from ants as they spend their most of time in doing their respective jobs without hesitation and the third thing that we can learn from ants uh, is we can learn loyalty and discipline from ants as they live a disciplined life and always follow the rules of their group and are loyal towards it i repeat the third point we can learn loyalty and discipline from ants as they live a disciplined life and always follow the rules of their group and are loyal towards it now the exercise given on page number 5 discuss the following topics in groups write down the first question of it what problems are you likely to face if you keep ants as pets what problems are you likely to face if you keep ants as pets the answer we may face several problems in keeping ants as pets they are too tiny to keep a watch on they may bite and cause an itchy skin i repeat the answer we may face several problems in keeping ants as pets they are too tiny to keep a watch on they may bite and cause an itchy skin the second question is when a group of bees finds nectar it informs other bees of its location quantity etc through dancing can you guess what ants communicate to their fellow ants by touching one another's feelers i repeat the question when a group of bees finds nectar they informs other bees of its location quantity etc through dancing can you guess what ants communicate to their fellow ants by touching one another's feelers the answer is ants appear to greet each other when they move in a single line but actually they touch the feelers of each other to inform them about the location of food 
I repeat the answer. Ants appear to greet each other when they move in a single line, but actually they touch the feelers of each other to inform them about the location of food. Now on page number six, one exercise is there which you are supposed to do in your book itself if you have them. If you are not having your books, then you can do it in your rough notebook. So the question is, complete the following poem with words from the box below. Then recite the poem. So the poem is, soldiers live in barracks and boats in dash. Much like a snake that rests in a dash. No horse is able to sleep except in a dash. And a dog lives well, mind you, only in a dash. To say hi to an ant, if you will, you may have to climb and dash. Answer is, soldiers live in barracks and birds in nests. Much like a snake that rests in a hole. No horse is able to sleep except in a stable and a dog lives well, mind you, only in a kennel. To say hi to an ant, if you will, you may have to climb an ant hill. So this was my today's lecture. If you liked this video, then please subscribe our channel.